<laughs> Welcome back to Dr. John Tickell Presents. Good day for me. I'm surrounded by gorgeous women. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Zoe, Zoe, last week in the press there were these huge headlines like Generation Fat and your one there, one here Kids Fat. Oh. I mean, does that mean you as a nutritionist is not doing it's a good job? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I think it doesn't necessarily come down to all these diets. It comes down to sort of educating people correctly, having the correct infrastructure and making it easy. You know, I think sometimes it's, it's pretty difficult for people to excite their kids about eating healthy food as well. I mean, I think in Victoria, it's one in four kids is obese. Mm. New South Wales is a similar, similar statistic as well. So it's about sort of looking from the ground up. So later in the program, you and I can talk about these diet books with Elise. Exactly. But yes. right now, we have a special guest called Noosh. And Noosh, you look um, a little bit different to us guys, so you must be from a country that's far away? Uh, originally Sri Lanka. Now, <laughs> that's a nice now, way of putting it. You've been telling me <laughs> before we went on the show that you make this magnificent food which is all natural. Yes. Like, are you telling fibs or is that real? No, it's completely true. There's no artificial colours, flavours, mm -hmm. there's no refined sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's completely natural. And is, it, is organic a word all that comes to mind? Yes, it's What's it all mean? Organic. What's organic Organic mean? is no pesticides or herbicides mm -hmm. used in any of the soils for the production of the ingredients. At least you believe, do you believe that? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, we've discussed this and you were actually a chef as well, so that's how you chef, began. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And why the idea for a natural food? I mean, how did you know that you could create a great product? Well, I wasn't really into natural products before, but my mum got really sick and mm. she had cancer, so we went... Uh, she went completely raw and vegan and, yeah, cured her cancer. Did it really? Yes, she wow. did. What sort of cancer did your mum have? It was her fourth breast cancer. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so natural is good. So and tell us about, good. is that ice cream? Well, it's not, it's ice confectionery because it has no dairy. Zero? Zero dairy. It's all coconut milk. Okay. Yes. yes. So for and anyone who's lactose intolerant, it's perfect, perfect for Perfect for lactose them. intolerance, uh, diabetics, celiacs, yeah. But if you ate lot, a lot of ice cream, you'd mm -hmm. get obese, fat. Yes. What about if you eat this sort of, what's the comparison? Well, it has the same fat as a dairy ice cream, but it's a different fat. It's a fat that actually passes through your body instead of staying and becoming like fat in your body. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. I read the label here, it says uh, da, 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 500 something. It's about 130 calories, 500 kilojoules. Mm -hmm. It's the same as a cappuccino. Yes. Would you rather have this or a cappuccino? I would rather have that. Why? Well, it has so many nutrients in it. It's got Irish moss, which is mm -hmm. a seaweed. So that's got a lot of nutrients and nutrients from the sea. It's got strawberries, beetroot powder wow. to give it the colour. Hey, so Joey. I'm <laughs> like salivating. <laughs> I know. Well, we've already had a little taste before, but it actually costs about the same as a coffee as well it to does. buy. It does cost. And that's the thing that, you know, people need to get their head around. But it is such mm. a good product. Mm. And yeah. what else? What other foods are you involved with? Uh, we do uh, dairy-free ice cream and we do biscuits. We do flaxseed crackers, chia crackers and a buckwheat cereal. Flaxseed, yeah. I know. So it's yes. got omega-3 or something. It certainly does. Yeah. It's a good form of a monounsaturated fat. So yeah. great on cholesterol levels, great on nervous system. I like these ice creams. So it sounds like, uh, <laughs> so like, like where, where, do you, yeah, where do you buy it? I'm uh, excited. Thomas Tuck's, Leo's and a lot of health food stores mm. like Passion Foods, Brand yeah. Health. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? Mm. So we're going to race down and get some. Okay. So tick, you get a, ticks the box. Yeah. Does look, ticks the box good to and me. it tastes good as well. So you've had it, you, Elise, you've had a go? Yeah, we all had a Which, little taste before, so and it's really nice. And the chocolate, now hang on, isn't yeah, chocolate sort chocolate, of, uh, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to ask Noosh about chocolate because yeah. so many people out there are addicted to chocolate. Yes, yes they are. Yeah, so what right. about, you know? Well, this is different chocolate because there's no dairy and it hasn't been heated. So it actually can, keeps all its nutrients in it. Whereas you buy a chocolate bar in a supermarket, yeah. it's been heated to a very high temperature. Really? It's no longer good for you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is so it the chocolate though or is it the cocoa? It's the cacao actually. The use the oh, bean. So yeah, yes. so I've got the cacao beans in there and the mm. powder, but it's raw powder. So it's not refined and processed? Well, it's been processed, but it hasn't been heated. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, this, <laughs> this sounds really good. Anyway, no, listen, thanks for coming in. We'd like to hear a bit more from you mm -hmm. and your products just look, well, they look sensational, taste sensational, and they are very good for you. Thank you. High five. <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll be back soon with mm -hmm. one of the great heroes of the Hawthorne Football Club. In fact, he saved the club. He helped save the Hawthorne Football Club and he's a premiership player and a premiership captain.